Dustin Wolf has been absolutely spectacular between the pipes for the Calgary Flames in the past couple of games. And Jacob Markstrom is still out day to day. So there's a bit of a controversy sparking within the Flames fan base. A lot of people want to see the Flames commit to Dustin Wolf long term and give him the reins. While the other half of people still want to see the Flames ride out Jacob Markstrom for the rest of his contract especially after the Vesna caliber season he has had this season. And it's not a bad controversy to be in. In fact, it's not all that often that you get somewhat of a positive controversy. Welcome to Flames Digest. I'm Mark Griffith. If you're new around here, you love the Flames, make sure you subscribe because over 83% of the people watching are not subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, reports, and rumors revolving around the Calgary Flames, then make sure you join the fastest growing community of Flames fans on the internet. We would love to welcome you to the Flames Digest family. But there may be a controversy sparking for Flames fans. Which goalie do they want to see really get the reins here in Calgary? We know Vladar is out of the picture. It'll probably be between Dustin Wolf and Jacob Markstrom. But before we get into that majorly, we need to look at tonight's game. The Flames are back in action once again tonight. They have been playing some very, very good hockey lately, and it's been very entertaining hockey too, which is nice. A lot of times when the Flames are bad, not only are they, it's just not nice to watch the Flames lose, but sometimes they just don't play entertaining hockey. But right now, they are winning, and the hockey has been such a pleasure to watch. Think of that third period against Vegas. My goodness, wow. But tonight, they welcome the Washington Capitals to the Saddle Dome. That game goes at 6.30 p.m. tonight. It should be a very fun one. It is always a blast when Ovechkin comes to town. You never know when it might be his last game in Calgary. So it should be a great one tonight. But the big news is that Mr. Dustin Wolf, the Wolf, that's Dustin. He has once again been named the starting goalie for tonight. Wolfie, he's played the last two games and he has been absolutely insane. He has won the games for the Flames, you could argue. I know the Flames got five goals against Montreal and the offense was clicking, but Wolf really showed what he was fully capable of at the NHL level in that game. And he once again has got the nod for tonight. Ryan Huska believes in him. I think the rest of the Flames management and higher-ups believe in him. And it looks like the players also certainly believe in him. Now let's take a look at the lines for tonight's game. Right there at the bottom, you can obviously see Wolf as the starter. The forward line's a little bit of a shakeup. Um, well, not really from the last game, but Huberto, Kadri, Pospisil will be on that top line. Monge, Backlund, Coleman, they've been playing so good together this whole season. They're there again together again. The third line, you got the couple of Russians and Sharon Govich and Kuzmenko back together with Hunt, and then Greer, Rooney, and Coronado still up. I know a lot of people wanted Pelche to be the one who would remain in the lineup, but either Coronado or Pelche, I think most Flames fans are happy to see at least one of them playing. And then the defense... Shillington with Anderson, Uyghur with Miramanov, and Hanley back into the lineup will be playing with Pahal. So interesting lineup for sure. It's crazy to think that that is what the Flames lineup looks like at this point in the season. Going into the season, especially with the decor, as we know what happened with um, the trade deadline and just Zadorov, Hannafin, Tanev, but that lineup is actually insane. I'm going to pull it up again. Who would have thought that would be the Flames full tilt Still fighting for their lives lineup, you know, heading into pretty much April. I know it's late March now. Wow, what a what a crazy lineup. It's so funny that that is what the lineup is. But they are playing well, so you can't deny that. But of course, the big thing around Calgary right now, around the Flames organization, is what's going on with the goaltenders. So do we have a bit of a goalie controversy on the rise here? And once again, I will say it's not necessarily a bad controversy to have because it's two positives. It's two good goalies. It's Dustin Wolf playing really well. And then it's Jacob Markstrom, who has been a very good starter in this league for quite a while now. I know he has had up and down years. And obviously you can say that. You can say that about almost any goalie, really up and down games, anything. But either way, Markstrom, very solid goalie. Wolf showing that he is fully capable of being that NHL caliber goalie that the Flames have been fully waiting for from the system. Now, obviously, they've picked up some goalies from other teams in the past, and it hasn't always worked out. Markstrom is the best since Kippersoff ended his career. But Wolfie, 
he's playing really, really well. Now, here's, here's a little tweet to stir things up a little bit. I wonder if a universe exists where Dustin Wolf continues to play well and lead the Flames to meaningful late March, early April games, and then there's a goalie controversy of whether to start him or Markstrom in those must-wins a couple weeks from now. Very, very good way to put it. And a lot of people will say, there's no chance the Flames are playing meaningful hockey late into the season. We know that. They're not making the playoffs kind of thing. And that's extremely valid. This is more of a big hypothetical. Is there a universe in which? It's, it's a major hypothetical here. Is it possible that Wolf, you know what, strings together? The Flames have 15 games left. Let's say he strings together 10 wins in a row. He's already at two. And the Flames are right there in the picture. I know Vegas won yesterday and it really seems bleak for the Flames. But is there a universe where this exists? Where Wolf, the Flames ride him into the playoffs and then commit to him? Even before the playoffs, if they're still kicking around games, you know, 80, 81, 82 kind of thing, will Wolf be that guy? And I want to know from you guys, who do you want the Flames to commit to later into the season if they're still playing competitive hockey? Would you rather keep on with Wolf, keep howling, or would you go back to Markstrom always strong, sturdy, and you know what? Maybe he'll be playing with a little fire after all of the media talk about him over this season. Maybe he'll, you know, have that extra spark. But I want to know from you guys, who would you rather commit to, Wolf or Markstrom? I think long-term, the logical answer would be Wolf, just since he's younger. But Markstrom has shown he's a solid NHL goaltender that can be consistent on a year-to-year basis, we can say. And it's, oh, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting because usually it's, which goalie do we have to start? That's how it's been for the Flames pretty much since the Kippersoff era has ended. We've seen a lot of times where, you know, a goalie will start the season and it, another one finishes it. You think of Mike Smith and then Cam Talbot finished it. Or there were years where, you know, Brian Elliott would start the season and then he was not ending the season. We'd have Chad Johnson come in or something like that. This could be another one of those years where maybe Wolf is the guy they commit to in the future. We've seen strong NHL teams do this in the past. Think of Pittsburgh when they won the cup in 2016 and 2017. It was flurry, you know, for the majority of the regular season and then all of a sudden Matt Murray comes in and they did that on back-to-back years which was insane or you could even think back to the 2015 Ottawa Senators we all remember the Hamburglar he went on an insane run to end off the season and literally carried the Sens on his back into the playoffs obviously they didn't go on to win the cup but you know it's possible that a youngish goalie can do this And maybe Wolf will be the next installment in that crazy Cinderella run by young goalies in the NHL. Now, Wolf, he's been playing, obviously, as we know, really well. He was actually voted the Performer of the Week by Flames fans on their socials. 67 saves um, throughout the week. A 9.57 save percentage. He was phenomenal. Now, that does include the three saves he made. Um, against Colorado, which, I mean, obviously they count statistically, but it wasn't a huge thing. It was more about those two starts against Vegas and Montreal, where he was practically flawless. I know a lot of people are big Dustin Wolf believers right now, but they'll still find problems with his game. You do that with any player, really. I know he's a bit of a smaller guy, maybe tracking the puck um, when he's getting screened can be a bit of a harder thing, but he's shown his agility um, and is playing so so well I think he does have really really good eyes and can track the puck well obviously there's an issue of if he has you know six foot six major huge humans right in front of him it'd be hard for anyone to track the puck and we've seen that with all goaltenders ever so pros and cons of course but he is showing his pros at the NHL level you know AHL goalie of the year He's gotten his MVPs. He's gotten all his flowers down at the AHL level. And I think Flames fans are finally ready to fully believe in him. So, again, I want to stir up that controversy. Flames, should they go with Wolfie? Markstrom? Should they deal Markstrom in the offseason while his value is high and commit to Wolf? Go with Wolf and Vladar next year? Go with Markstrom and Wolf next year? Maybe split the games, you know, 50-30 kind of thing. Well, 50 games to 30 games, not 50-30 percentage. I'm better at math than that, but not by much. But either way, I think one way we can definitely look at this controversy is by this tweet. Really glad to see Dustin Wolf in the starters net for the Flames practice this morning. These are games that should belong to him, not Jacob Markstrom, who's been quite disgruntled lately. And I don't blame him. That is a great way to look at it. 
late into the season in a season where it looks like the Flames will not be making a push at the playoffs. I do agree. These should be Dustin Wolf's starts. They are his games. And I wouldn't even be surprised if Markstrom doesn't fully, you know, really play for the rest of the season. I know I think it'd be great for him and he should, but there's a chance that, you know, Ryan Huska doesn't fully commit to Markstrom for the rest of the year and keeps him as healthy as possible. I think that's definitely a potential here that hasn't fully been explored. I think I'm, I keep looking down because there was one more thing I wanted to show. I think it was this per Ryan Huska, Jacob Markstrom is back skating this week plans for Markstrom to skate a few more times this week and hopefully be back Saturday versus Vancouver. So he's healthy enough to be back skating this week. You know, he'll get in some practices, not in the starters net, but back for the game against Vancouver in Vancouver. Obviously he used to play there. Would love to get some more revenge and such. So the plan is for now, ride Wolf throughout this week. But who knows if he plays the way he did last week, this week. And I mean, it's only, it's actually just this Monday game before the Vancouver game. But once again, if he puts up, you know, 35 plus saves and only gives up either zero to, we'll say two goals, there's a chance he could, they could just keep getting him more experience. Now, the thing about Saturday is that it is in Vancouver, it's on the road, and then they're instantly back in action Sunday against Buffalo, so maybe they don't want to have a double start there. Um, so go with Markstrom on Saturday and then back to Wolf on Sunday. There's potential for it, but again, all I want to know from you guys, which goalie should the Flames commit to for the rest of the season and for the future? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you saw here today and have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy the game tonight. Go Flames, go.